I mean to bargain with your husband, the king, but he's a complicated man. You are being diplomatic. Charles was not always as he is now. When he was a boy, he fell into fits of madness. His keepers believed him possessed and put him through ritual. His conversion afterwards was sincere, though he gained a terrible fear of fire. When we met, he was honorable and pious. You sound proud of Charles. You loved him. Do I? Yes, in a way. But we have never been a normal husband and wife, in private. Does he not love you? It is not him. I could never be what he needed. But he is a man, and found solace elsewhere. Often. The nun little mother was going to kill you. Perhaps. Her deliverance rituals were brutal and cruel. Few survived. Euphrasia belonged to a secret group that believes Francia has fallen into apostasy. She thought me possessed. The Bishop Engelwyn was part of this group, I think. You know of Engelwyn? Yes. They call themselves Bella Torres Dei. God's warriors. And there are more of them. brought me all this way to see a child. Yes. Charles has a son. Little bear. Richardis! You're safe! God protects me. Never doubt that, child. Bernard? This is Eivor, a friend. Go now and wash yourself. You've got more color on your shirt than on the canvas. He paints beautifully for a child, don't you think? He's better than many I've seen. Did you teach him? I do not have that gift. He got the ability from his mother, I think. Bernard is not your son. How could he be? Yet I love him as if he was. As I said, Charles and I were never that way. But he is a man and a king. Naturally, he found other places to satisfy his appetites. From that came Bernard. You're hiding the boy from his father. Charles wants Bernard to succeed him to the throne. And Bernard wants nothing else but to please his father. That is why I must keep Bernard from him. He will lead the child down a dark path. One not meant for a good king. My agreement with Charles was only to return with you. The child need not be involved. And I will not let him be. Bernard knows to find a church if he needs help and I am not there. I must leave again for a while. When I return, I want to hear your Latin verbs. I know you're going to see Father without me. I'm not stupid, you know. By keeping Bernard from Charles, you hope to prevent him becoming king. You misunderstand me, Eivor. Bernard must assume the throne for the good of Francia. You see what Charles has become. Bernard is young, but will make a good ruler. One that will be more sympathetic to your people, also. If Charles wants the child, I'll not be pleased to see you without him. I hope that is not true. Charles knows the Bella Torres took me. He would be concerned. We have not been on good terms lately. But he sent you to free me. Perhaps he wishes to be reconciled.
that bear is bleeding. Wait. If it is wounded, it is dangerous. It is all right. Be more careful now. Off you go. They are noble animals. She had given up. She is all right now. Thanks to God. Are all bears so tame in Frankia? All of God's beasts respond to love, Eva. Even more so when they are hurt. In that, they are not so different to people. You have the gift with beasts. But you're speaking of Charles now. You think the same is true even of him? Especially of him. We are here. Charles Kemp. I fulfilled our agreement. Here is your wife, the Queen. She is unharmed. Charles. My dear wife, finally you appear before me. You must want for refreshment after your long and complicated journey. You are still angry. It is from nothing, Charles. I have been as faithful to you as I have been to God. I am sorry for taking Bernard, but... Ah, yes, my son. I thought by finding you, I would find him. But I do not see him. Where is Bernard? Safe. <laughs> do you remember the night we met? I've never forgotten it. The sky was clear and awash with thousands of stars. The night of our wedding, it was the same. I took it as a sign from God. I knew you and I were meant to be. You were in white. All purity and grace. I thought, tonight, I am not the prince. I am the luckiest man alive. How lucky to take a wife who fell so easily into another's bed. You did not take me as your man, but as your fool. Charles, no. To our marriage. We had a deal. Oh. Do not be concerned about Bernard de Chardis. He is my son. Without your interference, he will find me. And you, Northern Devil, who presumes to sit at a negotiating table with a Frankish king. Here is your deal. You lied to me. I did not lie, Diable. I said God would make it so. And so he has. I'll take care of the guards. Stay hidden. Come <laughs> on. 
what they do not mean to get what they do not say they want. I failed to mention everything about Charles. I'm sorry. The truth is awkward and I did not see the need. He believes you to be unfaithful. There is no end to his accusations. I hoped he had come to himself. Do you think he really meant to kill us? Yes. Now Paris will fall. Charles has made certain of that. Siegfried was right. Don't despise Charles. Like that bear, he may yet recover with God's help and become your ally. I do not share your faith in your God or your husband. But you carry both with a rare honor. Thank you. That is a high compliment. For my part, I don't think God has finished with you yet. We were meant to meet. Now, I must find Bernard. We will go to the Paris slums and aid the sick. Charles will not look for us there. I must go meet Siegfried at the forward camp in Paris. We have a siege to prepare and pride to swallow. God exalts the humble, Eivor of Raventlan. You will see. Farewell for now. If they see me, this will get messy. May you speed on to the All Father's Feast.